Hi students, in this video we are going to learn about the salient features of crystal field theory. This theory was developed by Hans Beth and John Hasbrock van Vleck. In this video, we shall learn about the salient features of crystal field theory. Before that, I will give some introduction about the CFT. This theory involves an electrostatic approach to the bonding in complexes. First point is, this theory involves electrostatic approach to the bonding in complexes that is electrostatic that means ionic approach that is ionic approach to the bonding in complexes why this is called crystal field theory means it was first applied to the ionic type of crystalline substances so it is very often called as crystal field theory why because it was first applied it was first applied to ionic type of crystalline substances so it is called as crystal field theory this CFT has been widely used by the chemist to explain the behavior of transition metal compounds. This was used by the chemist to explain the behavior of transition metal compounds. Behavior of transition metal compounds. Now let's see the saline features of the CFT one by one. First important feature here is ligands are considered as point charges or point dipoles. We know that in the complex the central ion that is the central ion is surrounded by central ion that is metal ion is surrounded by the ligands. Ligands are surrounded around, around the central metal atom. These ligands are said to be point charges or point dipoles in the crystal field theory it is the first and very important point and here ionic ligands ionic ligands are called as point charges and the neutral ligands are called as point dipoles it is the first point first point is ligands are considered as point charges or point dipoles here ionic ligands are point charges and neutral ligands are point dipoles it is the first and very important point now let's move on to the second point and the second point is the bond between the metal and the ligand is purely ionic this means the metal ion and the ligands bonding arises due to the electrostatic attraction between the nucleus of the metal cation and the partial negative charges. Here the second point is the bond between the metal and the ligand is purely ionic. That means the metal ion and ligands this bonding between these two will arises due to the electrostatic electrostatic attraction between the metal ion and the ligand. This electrostatic attraction is present between the metal ion and the ligand that means the nucleus of the metal cation and the partial negative charges are held by electrostatic attractions so the bonding between the metal ion and the ligand is purely ionic that means they are electro static and the next point is the interaction between the electrons of the cation and those of the ligand is entirely repulsive these repulsive forces are responsible for the splitting of d orbitals of the metal cation why the d orbitals of the metal cation are split in the CFT means the interaction between the electrons of the cation that means the metal and those of the ligands is entirely repulsive here the metal and ligand these interactions are 
repulsive that means they repulse each other these repulsive forces are responsible for the splitting these are responsible for the splitting of d orbitals these repulsive forces are responsible for the splitting of d orbitals of metal cation in its simplest form we can say that the crystal field theory does not consider the overlap between the metal orbitals and the ligand orbitals here the overlap between the metal orbitals and the ligand is not considered that means here only the repulsive forces between the metal and the ligands is considered but the overlapping is not considered if they are repulsing means there is no overlap so this theory does not consider the overlap overlapping between the metal orbitals and ligand orbitals is not considered it is the third point and the last point and the very important point is the degeneracy is destroyed by the approach of ligands during the formation of the complex first of all the d orbitals in the metal are degenerate that means they are having equal energies d orbitals these are degenerate orbitals that means having equal energies in a free metal ion but during the formation of the complex when the ligands are approaching the metal ion this degeneracy is destroyed by the approach of ligands during the formation of the complex this is about the introduction and salient features of crystal field theory please subscribe to our channel thank you for watching